this is Jody Sosnan, Mike Moulton from V Home Solutions, and this is number 13 of our 20 video series addressing home buyer concerns. Um, one of the questions that keeps coming up, Mike, is uh, will I get a better deal on a foreclosed home if I go directly to the agent that is listing the home, in other words, bypass them, mm -hmm. or if I work with an agent that's representing my, my interests? Yeah, it's a good question because we get that a lot out in the uh, in the market here. Like for example, if I have a house listed that's a uh, short sale, I will get someone will come in to me and I'll ask them if they they're working with an agent. They'll say no. I've asked them two or three times. Then when it gets down to they like the home and would like to make an offer, they come out with well, I actually do have an agent. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we all try to take care of each other here, so that I don't appreciate that, and I don't, and their agent definitely would not appreciate right. that after spending all the time and money and gas driving them around, helping them find a house. Um, so, you know, frankly, the bank's going to pay, the bank is paying the commissions, mm -hmm. so, you know, will, will they necessarily pass that on to the buyer? Probably not. I'm like, in most cases, if the agent really wanted to... Uh, you know, give away commissions, they might be able to do that. But, you know, here's the thing. If you don't have an, if you're not working with a real estate agent, go directly to the listing agent um, or, or get or get an agent. It, I'm saying it's okay to go directly to the listing agent. But if you have a real estate agent you've been working with, a buyer's agent, definitely bring them, have them bring But isn't bring it always over. in the buyer's best interest to have someone representing what their interests are in the deal? It is. It really is. Because, you know, like you said, we said in other videos, there's so many details and things going on with these foreclosure you transactions. You professional that knows what they're doing. Yeah. Representing you. Exactly. Because it's not like a cut and dry purchase like they used to be years ago. That's so. a little minutia that you want to make sure all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. Absolutely. Absolutely. Make sure you're working with a professional when you're going into, it's a huge deal to, to buy a home. I mean, you yeah. want to make sure that you're doing everything correct and why not, I mean, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you would definitely go to a professional if you're seeking health care. You know, right. I mean, so exactly. it's the same, same difference. You want to probably find someone that knows what they're talking about and can represent your best interest in the transaction. That's right. That's right. So don't, don't cut out your real estate agent if you're working on your buyer's agent when you're going to look at houses. It's make all sure. about the real estate love. It is. It is. You don't want to, because that's, that's the thing. You're not going to gain anything by doing that. And if your agent's a good agent, they'll probably negotiate better than you would personally, and you'll get a better deal and save more anyway. Exactly. Always go to the professional. Thanks, yep. Mike. Thanks for answering the question. And this is Jody Sauce. I'm Mike Moulton at B Home Solutions. We're coming back with more videos, so stay tuned.